Second drop of my Wowzers I'm Depressed line is here. Now available in beanies, available in other colors including black. So check it out guys at desmerch.com. Let's try to get this video to 15,000 likes. If we could do that, I will personally get a shirt with this face tiled all across it, and I'll wear that for the next video. <sighs> you guys didn't think I'd do it, but here it is. As if I didn't get strange enough looks already. It's really fun to just have random people do this to you in public. But what's up guys, welcome back to What The F*** News. Now with less demonetization. Apparently YouTube has a problem with the F word being in the title of the show. Who would have guessed? Trying a new thing out for the new year where I try not to get demonetized every video. I don't want to just bleep cuss words though, so if you guys know the sound that we should use, let me know in the comments down below. But what's up guys, my name is Destry and I just moved again. What? Destry moving? Who's ever heard of such a thing? I've never heard of such a thing. Sorry, Road to Eldorado reference, you wouldn't get it. But yeah, I moved uh, a couple apartments away, so I'm still in Portland, but this is the first move since like 2010 that I've been alone for. So it's been interesting. Um, I definitely am not used to it. Like I still catch myself doing things like, <laughs> oh, I love this part. Oh, right, I'm alone. Hey, can someone bring me a towel? Oh, right, I'm alone. Man, I really want to jack off, but oh, right, I'm alone. Well, welcome back to What The F*** News, the original weird news source here on the internet. The show where we talk about the news that makes you ashamed to be one of the human race. And look guys, it's freshly 2019, you're thinking to yourself, Destry, it's a new year, I'm sure the world has stopped being weird and terrible. <laughs> No. In fact, there are almost too many stories for me to cover, and all of them happened within the first month of 2019. <sighs> but before we get into the news, guys, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, privacy.com. So this is actually a really neat service that I started using recently that can actually be used as an internet browser extension that essentially creates a virtual card number for you to use so you can protect all your financial information with just one click. With your virtual cards, you can freeze and unfreeze them whenever you want, set spending limits per month or per year, and the best part about it is it's 100% free, there's no fees or any bullshit like that. And right now, as a special promotion to my viewers, if you sign up using their service, you'll get $5 to spend on whatever you want. It works on Amazon or wherever, it's literally just free money by using their service. So go to privacy.com slash destry and get that shit today. Okay, uh, I was really hoping that that ad would have taken longer so I don't have to talk about the news as much, but here it is. All right, let's get into it. Uh, so first, Soldier Boy was in the news. And no, he's not up to his usual antics of supermanning hoes, but instead made news headlines for his breakthrough new technology and game console called the Soldier Game, which is really just a knockoff console that already existed that he sold for almost double the retail price. Finally, ah, uh, you know how long I've been waiting for an irrelevant rapper to make a game console? A long ass time. He also had apparently been in the works of making the Solja watch, which was absolutely not just an Apple watch with his face on it, as well as the Solja pods, which I've been informed are just the knockoff versions of Apple AirPods, and not in fact a transportation device for Saiyan warriors to travel in. I don't know why that's where my mind went when I heard the word Solja pod, but uh... Better yet is according to the visionary Solja boy himself, he's claimed that his next console will have Fortnite on it. <laughs> Oh yeah! Rise up fellow gamers, Fortnite on the Soldier Gang! I was literally just about to buy it too. But how did Soldier Boy get away with making blatant ripoffs of Apple products and Nintendo consoles? Well, he took to his Twitter to explain by saying, Y'all don't scare me, I'm Soldier Boy! Foe. Foe? Foe. Uh, out of here. Oh, thank you Minecraft villager soundbite. You really saved me there. I was this close from being demonetized. Oh wait, no damn it. You guys still saw a cuss word. Look away. Don't tell YouTube guys. <laughs> I need my ad revenue. If Nintendo was gonna do something, they would have done it the first day. My console's not going anywhere and everything I'm doing is 100% legit. Stay mad and I'll keep getting richer. Nintendo ain't gonna do shit. Well as it so happens, Nintendo did gonna do shit. Wait, is that serious? Soldier watch. I'm gonna look that up now. Soldier. <laughs> In my autocorrect, I put soldier wagon. <laughs> it's a soldier wagon. <laughs> soldier boy just starts like rebranding a bunch of like useless shit with his name on. Yo, buy the soldier wagon. Buy the soldier light switch, man. Soldier. 
something went wrong. Soldier Watch does not exist. Literally, what I was just about to buy. <laughs> Soldier Boy, I'm serious, man. Like, if you're not already on the works of making a Soldier Wagon, like, hop me on board, because I'm, I'm there. In a shocking twist of events, more twisted than Zeus's nipples and Hercules, I still don't know why that was a thing. Soldier Boy took down the products and issued a statement saying, I had to boss up. I didn't have a choice. Well, you know, at least he owned up to it. We've all been there. We've all tried to make our own shitty knockoff consoles, right? In fact, I was in the works of making a really cool invention called the Flesh Phone. It's a phone that doubles as a fleshlight. I know, I'm a genius, you don't even have to tell me. I was also making a console that comes preloaded with my two favorite games, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie for the N64. But in addition, it comes preloaded with a low-res version of Sherlock Gnomes just ready to go. And almost 12 gigabytes of only horse sounds. And the best thing about it was the design. Look at how original, look at how sleek this thing is. In more quick news, everyone was pissed off at the men's razor company in Gillette this last week for an ad that went viral called The Best Men Can Be. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right way. Bro, not cool, not cool. That's not how we treat each other, okay? So the video, which now has over 24 million views, was met with a ton of hate from really both sides of the spectrum. A lot of people agreeing with the message and saying that certain toxic masculinity does need to be stopped. And a lot of other people saying that the entire video was an anti-man, man-hating compilation. And then an even smaller portion of the world, including myself, who are saying, why is this an ad for razors? Like, what the f*** does this have to do with shaving products? We have all this buildup about how men are terrible, and then at the end, buy our razors. What? What the f***? It's like if a commercial was like, Yeah! Who here likes titty? Oh, you? Well, I'm here to tell you! Try new Jiffy Peanut Butter. Now with more molecules. Or, We spend our entire lifetime looking up to him. In our eyes, he's more than just our father. He's our superhero. Flesh phone. Buy it today. Like, what? I don't know. I want to remain as objective as I can with the story so I don't, like, piss off anyone or uh, sound too crass, if that's the right word. But what I'll say is I understand the message. Like, I think I know what they're trying to go for here in that the whole idea and movement of men holding other men accountable is a positive message. But the delivery of that message is just like, why is it a problem that two kids are wrestling at a barbecue? Like, girls wrestle too. I've seen my nieces beat the sh** out of each other. But two boys wrestling is not like that. Like, if we saw that he was like punching him or like that the other kid was crying and saying, no, please stop. Like, that is a different story. But we just see two kids wrestling and the dad like comes in or whoever the <laughs> this guy is. He's probably not even the dad. You're not my dad. He comes in. He's like, it's not how we treat each other, okay? Hey, don't treat each other like that, guys. Come on. But I think the reason that so many people are mad about this is because the directing uh, of the actual clip itself was poor. Like, if we saw more context, then maybe we wouldn't have been so pissed off. You know what I mean? Not saying that I am. I I'm just saying that I understand why other people are mad about it from both sides of the spectrum. Also, like, what is so bad about this part? To act the right way. Cool. Am I missing something? Like, it's bad to be crude and catcall women, like, Hey, baby, let me show you my Mitra! Why am I Watto from Star Wars? How well, is not he gonna pay for all of this? But what is so bad that this guy's doing? Bro, not cool, not cool. Whoa, not cool, bro. You're not allowed to approach a women's ever. A women's? Yeah, don't approach a women's, man. It's bad news. I don't know. Maybe he was, like, about to catcall her, and that's why he stopped him? Or maybe he thought he was just about to follow her and be a giant creep, like, but then again, I think this whole thing could just be my whole naive mind in thinking that everything is harmless. When I think the whole message of this video was not everything is harmless, and that people should be held accountable and intervene when something they see is not cool is happening. But like, I've approached women before exactly like this and been like, yo, dope scarf. Or like, your eyebrow game is ridiculous and I love it. And you're sitting there like, yo, Destry, that's creepy. Don't say those things. But like, in my mind, they're just harmless things. Like, I'm not trying to flirt. I'm not trying to slide in anyone's DMs. I'm just like, Yo, your scarf is dope. So my point is, is like we, again, are not given context for this video. We don't know what he's about to do. But the friend stops him for just even thinking about something. Like, is he telepathic? How does he know what he's thinking? If he was catcalling in the video, I could go, yes, that's bad. But he doesn't. He doesn't catcall. He's just about to approach her. You have to say, oh, well, he was about to. And obviously a lot of people felt kind of the same way with this story as it has almost 1.2 million dislikes and comments such as, oh, this is a Razor commercial? Right? There's another toxic male dropping in to dislike the video game. Thanks, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> 
Finally, a comment from DJ Tortilla that reads, I will never shave my pubs with Galiti product again. <laughs> Me neither, man. I'm never shaving my pubs. <laughs> never. <laughs> And since everyone is boycotting Gillette right now, I think now is the best time for me to introduce my new product called Flesh Zor. It's a fleshlight and a razor put together. What could go wrong? <laughs> Destry, why are all your products mixed with fleshlights? Why isn't every product mixed with a fleshlight, am I right? High five. No, no, don't high five him, please. Oh yeah! Next we have Logan Paul back in the news. Ah, <sighs> what would January be without Logan Paul doing or saying something to shame mankind? So Logan Paul was under fire this last week for some comments he made on his podcast Impulsive, where he was explaining the trends and resolutions he set for himself in 2019, including going sober for a month, going vegan for a month. But the one that struck a nerve with the internet is when he talked about one he called Male Only March, where he said, quote, So it's Male Only March. We're going to attempt to go gay for just one month. For one oh, month. Damn. And then swing, and then go back. <sighs> what the fuck? Logan, why? Why? You were doing so good. Now the only month trends I want to see you participate in is <laughs> out of here February and actually go away and don't come back April. Oh, my dad participated in that month when I was two. But yeah, so far, uh, Logan has not really responded to what he said, and the only real apology he gave was very poor choice of words. Totally. I'm just genuinely curious to know if he actually thinks that sexuality is a choice. He's just like, wow, there are so many people choosing to be gay in the world. Does he think that people just one day wake up and are like, Wowzers, my guy, I am craving a big penis today. Not usually about it, but man, a huge dong just sounds really good right now. Either way, I'm not sure if he meant it this way. Like, maybe in his mind, he was like, ah, ha, 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 what a good joke. But again, it comes down to like, why did he think this was okay? We're talking about the same guy who thought it was a good idea to show a dead body to millions of people. Yeah. Who now thinks that it's a great idea to say this to a young and impressionable audience. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Honestly, and I hate that I've done this, but I, I have defended Logan Paul in my past with like uh, other videos that I've done saying that you know obviously this is a joke but I'm getting to the point where I don't think I can give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think I can say that in his mind he thought this was a joke. I really do think that this guy is just like next level stupid. And boy, have I told you how much I love that he is who gets in this public spotlight. He out of all, everyone on YouTube, including, you know, we have great people like Shane Dawson, PewDiePie, me. <laughs> He's the one that, that is the beacon of, of YouTube. So people see this and they're like, oh, this is all of YouTube. This is, this is what I have to look up to and who I have to be in order to get to be number one. Oh my god, I just, oh, okay, next story. Sorry, I can't, I can't do it. Then there was a story of Kylie Jenner losing her spot as number one most liked Instagram post to the likes of a stock image of a brown egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I love this story. Not only does Kylie Jenner now have to admit that she was beaten by a stock image of a brown egg for the rest of her life, but this is probably just the most wholesome, weird story to come out of 2019, you know? But the post, which has now garnished over 50 million likes, destroyed the previous record post Kylie Jenner posted of her daughter Stormy last year with only 18 million likes. <laughs> 18 million? That's barely anyone, Kylie. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed of those not egg content numbers. Oh, she clearly doesn't know what's hip and cool. Pictures of babies? Oh, don't make me laugh. Egg content? <laughs> Give me. But why did everyone decide to make a post of a stock image of a brown egg the most liked post on Instagram? No one knows. And I think that's why this story is so great. Just no idea. I mean, if we were to compare the two, on one hand, we have a tasty breakfast food. And on the other, we have a tasty breakfast food. I eat babies. I can tell you that I'd rather scramble the insides of this thing than I would of Kylie Jenner any day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There was the news about the Netflix original Sandra Bullock movie called Bird Box and the ensuing Bird Box Challenge where people tried to go a day of their life blindfolded as they do in the movie. So while the original idea behind the challenge was harmless and fun, the internet did what it does best and took something harmless and fun and turned it into a complete show. When several people took the challenge too far by driving while blindfolded, which I shouldn't have to tell you is not a good idea. It's not? No, in fact. It's not. Several reports of teens getting into car accidents because of the challenge started popping up all across the country, to which Netflix themselves issued an official statement saying, We don't know how this started and we appreciate the love, but boy and girl have just one wish for 2019, and that is that you don't end up in the hospital due to memes. What are you talking about? That's the only reason to end up in a hospital, am I right? High five. You know the drill. Don't do it. Come on, do it. This kind of shit just can't be helped, though. Like, honestly, this is like the 2019 version of the Tide Pod Challenge. If you have to remind the world not to be blindfolded while driving, we've already Already failed. I think everyone's just expecting way too much of this world's intelligence at this point. Uh, if anyone ever needs a reminder of our world's intelligence, I'll, I'm just gonna reply with this picture. Why yes, that is a picture of our president staring directly at the sun with his bare eyes. 
Then finally, the last story I want to cover is sort of lighthearted, and that is this man. Now, what do you think that this man is about to do? A. Deliver some delicious free pizza to a starving, unsuspecting family. B. Surprise his own family by returning home after a hard-fought war. Or C. Vigorously lick the doorbell of this residence for three hours. If you guess C, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> This is both creepy and hilarious to me. Like, my god, this guy's tongue king is just on point. Three hours, my dude? I have a lot to learn from this guy. I don't know what I'm doing when I'm using my tongue for PG-related reasons. God, you guys! Has no one ever tried to get the rest of some pudding out of an almost empty snack pack? It's hard. Son of a bitch. Maybe this is just me, but when I was younger, I actually used to try to practice kissing. Because I was like, man, when I kiss a woman, because I was like 15 when I when I finally got to do it, but I was like, man, when I kiss a woman, I better be goddamn good at it. Nope. First kiss ever. I licked the girl's tooth. I still know her too, and she never lets me live that down. She'll just randomly text me and be like, hey, remember when you licked my tooth? I'm like, shut the f up. And now all of you know that story too. So every time I upload a video, I'm just gonna get random comments like, hey, Dad, remember when you licked that girl's tooth? <laughs> shut the f up. So it's possible that this guy was just practicing because he too has licked a woman's tooth. That's probably it. As far as the family's reaction, apparently the mother got a lot of ring notifications from their front doorbell around 5 a.m., which prompted the woman to look over the footage and discover the man's three-hour non-consensual relationship with their doorbell, which apparently ended with him peeing in their yard. At this point, you kind of laughed about it afterwards because... Technically, do he didn't do harm anybody. I just wonder what would have happened if the homeowners would have caught him in the act of doing this. Harold, will you check the door? I'm getting a lot of notifications. Yeah. It's too early for this shit. Or if this is just something that this guy does, that like every night just licks a random <laughs> doorknob. And maybe he just needs to be caught in the act. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you get back here, you motherfucker! <laughs> Stop! Ah, God, Jesus Christ! But that is it for this episode of What the... <laughs> news now with even more villager for minecraft sounds than ever hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys enjoyed my shirt uh it's honestly the best 60 dollars i've ever spent a lot of people wondered if they could also buy this shirt and sadly not yet but if you do want to support the show though i've got a lot of other merch at deskmerch.com and or you can check out my patreon links down below the good news is though if this actually does get monetized then that'll be that'll be cool who am i kidding uh, if it's if i'm in it the youtube's gonna be like nope but that's it guys i will see you next time for another what the f news thanks for watching and bye bye I'm just kidding. Fair wins, guys.